Yes, he's back. Stevie DVD and VR4K HD UHD in 360. We've got the 1.18 update details here. See what they've changed. Here we go. A new update for Gran Turismo 7 has been released. The following is a list of the adjustments introduced. Improvements and adjustments. Number one, car settings fix an issue where after changing to a specific gear ratio, the adjustable range and set value of the gear ratio would change each time the settings were opened. Didn't know that. Number two, music replay. Fixed an issue where the game would crash if the Honda Sports VGT was the camera target in music replay. Don't know anyone who plays that. Number three, GT Auto. Fixed an issue where the color of the brake calipers could not be changed if body paint was applied to a car equipped with the following tuning parts in livery editor. If you've got the racing brake kit slotted discs, racing brake kit drilled discs and carbon ceramic brake kit and they're fixed an issue where the color of the brake calipers would change when body paint was applied to the following cars in delivery editor alpine vision gran turismo aston martin dp100 vision gran turismo it's all the vision gran turismo's by looks things lambo v12 vision gran turismo mini clubman vision gran turismo porsche 917 living legend Dodge SRT Tomahawk S Vision Gran Turismo. Now that Mini Clubman Vision Gran Turismo, I don't think I've seen that. I'll have to have a look for that one. Save data number four, fix an issue where the saved data would not load correctly from the server if playing on a console with no Gran Turismo saved data stored on it, or if multiple consoles were used. Number five, steering controllers, fixed an issue where the steering angle would not reflect the player's inputs on some cars when using the Logitech G923. Number six, the CAF. Fixed an issue where it was possible to receive multiple tickets repeatedly from extra menus. Number seven, circuit experience. Fixed an issue where the label above a car would not display correctly in a circuit experience replay. Number eight, races. Fixed an issue where the race would start with the replay camera when starting an offline race after spectating in a lobby. Number nine, various other issues have been addressed. Thank you for your cooperation. And that's that. So they haven't given us anything, they've just patched a few things up. Now, the only thing I want them to work on really is the online lobbies. You, you, you try and overtake someone and they're going left, right, left, right, skittering about because of connection issues or some issue. I don't know what it is, but that skipping around has been with us since day one. They need to sort that out because racing is no fun on this game. Whether you're in an online lobby, overtaking is a nightmare, especially when you've got someone whose connection is going like that. I don't always think it is a connection issue, but I can't be sure because it, it randomly happens to people with good internet connections. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, anyway, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again.